Hey guys, Grassman here, playing more, um, Stormbound. So, we're gonna start off by opening another noble, noble book. One per video probably works pretty well if I can keep up with the gold cost. Brothers in Arms, on place one at once, that in the top behind. Um, Toxic Sacrifice. Not bad. In place one at one, okay, so those are all quite, yeah. Nothing special. For only 80, I get 6 of of epic plus quality, and for 40 of rare plus. 50 more coins. Missions today. Give 40 strength to your units, win a game, and deal 60 damage to enemy bases. That's a really expensive one. Okay, though. Win a game's a lot easier than damage to bases. So we're not, not going to do that. Um, I need some climb with, a lot, with something with a lot of buffing. Give strength to your units. So this one's a satyr a satyr deck, a swarm deck. This one's just like a normal one. It's got the one special card, and that's it. So I think this one, this is the dread fawn kind of like swarm deck. If I look at swarms, is there anything else I can actually add to this deck? Mindless Horde, which I could get to 5 0 for 3 cost. Hmm. Is there anyone worth replacing? And the Shady Ghoul doesn't seem very good. I mean, he has 2 speeds, so he could actually be used pretty well to get further up. Out. Okay, I guess this is a good deck then. A couple of them can, then, can, can be upgraded though. Play give four strength to bordering friendly satyr. One strength to all surrounding friendly units. Yeah, it's still one, but there's an extra guy on it now. This one. So this one's going from four with spawning two two twos to four spawning two threes. It'll eventually spawn two fours, wow. And these ones can also be upgraded, just have one more guy. Yeah, they just upgrade by one guy each time. So cards are higher leveled, and it looks like we're ready then. Um there's some notic notification here. Is there something free? No? No, you don't care then. Here we go, ranked. If we get to rank three, we get four blue cards. Three of which I think are like a one-time reward or something. You guys are level 2, can they make, start making like, 2 strength guys? <laughs> Mischiefs are pretty good, they can be used for chip a fair bit. If you have them down to just 1 or 2, you can just cycle and you'll be able to get them eventually. Grim Couriers have three strength, have three, or five, four strength and three speed. Okay, Dread Fawns this turn will be good. Ah, that was a really good play. I hate those guys, Victor's the Melee are so annoying. None of my guys have like speed, eh?
Okay. I don't have a way to get deal with the victors of the melee yet, because not, not many of my guys have speed. These guys do, they're only one. That's annoying. Ah, um, there we go, Trigor. Yeah, I'll just have to take four damage then. Oh, he's just buffing my guys. I was hoping for a two cost. I'll turn it down one more notch. I'm not sure what the volume is, or how like how good it is with the video. I know it gets like a lot louder in the video. Doing quite good. Swim decks do suffer for cards like Victors of the Mallee, though. He's gonna take nine damage here, though. Oh no, he's just—he's just gonna lose. There we go. Nice. number three, so we should get, like, deal 60 damage to enemy bases, it got 14. So he only had 11 health, did it count the extra damage I had done from, like, having that, because that one group was so big? Um, 40 strength to your units, almost done, and win a game, done. And we get, like, four epics. So Mark does pretty good, I use that one, so I can, I can hopefully upgrade it soon. Um... Target enemies with four strength with less destroy that are frozen for each others. Okay, it's pretty good one. Let's go for ice decks. Big Thirst Tigers. One play gains speed equal to the amount of enemy units in front. Hmm. It's only one guy though. Or was it one guy or did I see that wrong? Um, Victors of the Melee. Yeah, I know them. It's all of it. Okay. Yeah, so the first, the one, first ones are like, you can see there's the first time rewards and then there's the seasonal rewards. The best seasonal ones are like, right at the end you get some legendary stuff. I don't know, what's this? Top 500. What's this?
So no one's in like stuck in top 500. So what's this then? Hero chest. You earn these at the end of the season. If I do what? Okay, let's do a battle here. Probably should use my like better deck, which would be the like, conversion deck. But Moonlit area is probably best for now. Fawn Companions would have been a close second, though. I have Dread Fawns for the next one. See, that one on death to do deal 2 damage to your base, I don't know how that's at all worth it. Like, it's one guy with 2 speed. Trigger because I think taking out those two guys is worth it to lose in the to lose in the ground. I don't think I think this is an AI I'm fighting. I don't think it's a person. They're playing too fast. And they're not very smart either. I'm gonna win this fairly easily. So I have to wait for the guys to start getting there. Okay, wrong ones, but that's fine. I get the Grim Couriers this turn. Where's the best place for the Pan Heralds? Pan Heralds here. Once that becomes like give two or three strength, that's gonna be really strong. Dopal box. Am I reading that right? Dopal box, yeah. He's got enough speed though, he's still gonna lose here. So, yeah, let's see what happens when we beat this one. So it did give us stars. Maybe it was a person then, just really good at playing fast. Seems it's just been the normal battle button though. I guess you actually have to get to the Hero League. That makes sense. Okay, let's change your deck then. We'll do something with the rubies after once we can get like epic or better cards. Once like 80. They're just looking for damage. So that's so. I mean, I actually know like what is it? This second ironclad. This ironclad deck needs a little bit of work. The one in the bottom left needs a bit of work. The shadow fiend on the right needs work. 
the winter one needs work, and the one and the I think one in the top left needs a bit of work. I've got like the one in the middle, the one to the left, and the top right are good. The bottom left is okay. So let's use this shadow, the middle shadow fiend deck. Okay, um, ranked. There we go. Later when we're showing off something interesting I found in um, Hollow Knight. This is a pretty good card. That one's gonna get me and keep me a lot of space though. Pretty evenly matched here. Well played. That's also a really good card I want. For now, I'll just play Avian Stalkers. Oh, he's gonna curse the strings of the avian stalkers. That's really smart, except I'm gonna do the exact same thing. They're only six strength. And this is eight strength or less. With four or less. Yeah, that, that was really smart, except I have, I have the same thing. Blood ministers, that's another really good one. Actually, saving it to play in a different spot there would have been better. Oh, he's got, he's got a weaker level though. I don't think I made targets for that, yeah. Um I want some I want those ones left alive for the blood misters. I wanna try and take more of his units. I have both clerics with cords and blood ministers here. That worked out perfectly. He's gonna try and kill them. Psycho Marcus Marcus play, Prey. Um eh, nothing else I can do. He's only got one spot to play. That's a pretty smart move. If he would have done that first. You know what? If he would have done that if he would have played the one strength of drain first. He put the destroy weaker units on the in a lane three, who would have attacked lane four and could have won, or he could have at least defended longer. They wouldn't have destroyed it, but they would have attacked it with themselves. Nice. Veterans of War. Potion of Growth. Gift of Recruits, all good cards and ones I use. Gifted recruits I have on like a three strength unit right now. They're very good because they like either they're like a, a two cost guy who's one of the cheapest kinds. Because you start with like three and four mana here, so a two cost guy is very good. Um, so 
better. I guess not. I, I do prefer to go, like, the second, actually, when starting out. Because then I get, like, four costs is usually enough to play something like the Zer Hatcher. I've immediately taken all of them to the ground. So you can never play things up right up against an, an, an enemy's base. You can always play them right against yours. It's just about can you play in the top three or not. Or in the middle three. Some militia is one of the cheapest cards. Because it, it doesn't even level up into anything good. Like, whereas the knight one, it starts with only a one-strength knight, but he's also got a speed. Um, nothing good here. Which is pretty good. Four costs to steal two strength and knock the enemy back. This guy just trapped himself here. He's got a swarm deck. This isn't going to go well for him. Does this thing ever get two speed? That'd be kind of OP. Probably not. Oh, I don't have mana. I think the right play is nothing. I think the right play is nothing. Or the troll play might be nothing. The right play might have been something. Shoot, I fucked up. Um, now this is definitely the right play. Now we just hold. Got a whole bunch of expensive cards. We can only play one card. But we do have both Blood Ministers and Curse of Strings, and Feral Shamans are also very good. I can reroll Salt. I'm gonna reroll Salty here. It's a whole lot of cheap cards. Second thought, I'm not gonna reroll Salty. Gonna have them move up. I'm gonna Blood Ministers in the middle of his four guys. They can take everything with four or less. Shoot. That did not- oh, that's bad. This is really bad. Um... This is not good. Okay, on second thought... Barrel Shaman's there. Clerks of Cords there. I need one of the higher guys to stay up so I can actually play something fairly far up. He's only got level 1 Gifted Recruits. Gifted Recruits higher levels are actually quite strong. Like 2 cost for 3 guys and a speed. Take out the salty outcast. I'll use the salty outcast to take out his fort next. He's actually doing very good here. He's quite weak though. Yeah, I was not expecting that one guy in the middle. That there just to do that. Just poison anyone. Probably would have poisoned the four or something, but who's is this? Is that one the uh, ravens? Feral shamans. Yes. Yeah, so then beyond one is good, unless they get killed. Is that game two for each bordering? Yeah.
Take the strongest unit. Okay, well, I killed one of their guys, meaning he's gonna gain one less here. It's only level one. Oh god, Moonlit Airy being stronger would be crazy. I assume it like would gain more health and give more when it levels up. That be that would be too. That'd be crazy. It's going to command just the one front forward. No, it only commands that unit forward. Okay. Put avian stalkers here. I was looking for a way to kill all of them, but there wasn't one. And this is fine. This can still work out well. Oh, I have one anyway. Doesn't even matter. My plan was to execution the guys in the middle, and then which is the wild to drain like three st one strength from each of the surrounding guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit like and content. Feel free to like and subscribe. I think we might get a reward here because we leveled up, ranked up. Broken truce. Um, destroy a target unit structure with eight strength or less. Spread the damage randomly on all structures, units, or. All surrounding units or structures deal three damage to your base. Ugh. That's really, it's a really hard hitting move. What was its cost? I should have read. Three conflicted, conflicted drakes. Unplay deal one damage to all non dragon units in front. Hmm. Warfront runners. Yeah. Hair raising cats and play command over and force surrounding. Come on. On play, randomly force a surrounding, confused enemy unit to attack a bordering enemy. Okay. And we'll airy. Petrified fossils. After surviving damage, command all friendly units with equal or less strength to move forward. Nice. I think I was an elder. So if you guys enjoyed, remember if you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!